Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can use Ableton Live with Logic Pro X using a system called rewiring. So first things first, to make this work, you're going to have to open up Logic Pro X before you use before you open up Ableton for every session. And to turn on the rewire feature, you're going to have to click Logic Pro X in the menu bar, go to preferences, go to audio, and at the bottom, you'll see an option called rewire behavior. Left click it and choose playback mode or live mode. Playback mode is if you need, if you have a weaker, weaker CPU and live mode is if you have a pretty good CPU. I'm gonna choose playback mode and I'm gonna press apply. And now I'm gonna open up Ableton Live. I'm gonna assume that you know a little bit about Ableton Live because this tutorial is not about the basics, it's about using them together. So here's Ableton and how do you know that it's rewired? Well, if you look at the top left, you'll see a number 154 and it's it's kind of grayed out and that's because it's dictated by the tempo of Logic Pro X. So with this workflow, you can only route Ableton into Logic Pro X and not the other way around. So I'm going to press Command F and type in piano and I will try to audition a sound and notice that when I press the space bar, nothing happens. You don't hear anything. The reason for this is because we need to make a new track that is routed to Ableton. So I'm going to press X, which opens up my mixer, and I'm going to press Control N, and that will make a new auxiliary channel, as you can see over here. So just click it, and you see this input one and two. Left click that, and now you'll see this option called Ableton Live, and just click Rewire Mix Left and Right and option click the volume knob. So it's back to zero, and now if we play. Great. So let's bring in another loop. Let's bring in a drum loop. There we go. This is a cool system, but how do we get this into Logic Pro X? Because if you were to close this session, you wouldn't want to save both the Ableton Live project and Logic Pro X, right? We'd want to keep this all in Logic Pro X. So press X to open up your mixer, click the auxiliary channel, and press Control T. And that will bring it to the arrangement view just like a regular auxiliary channel. So I'm going to rename this and I'm going to say this is Ableton Live Rewire Main. And if I want to render this into Logic Pro X, I'm going to press T and then I'm going to press the pencil tool or P and I'm going to just make a region based on the length of what I want to bounce. So Here's the region. I'm going to left click the region and press control B. And that should bounce the Ableton sounds into one file. So I'm going to mute this auxiliary channel so nothing plays from Ableton Live. And here's your loop. Just know that you can use effects like you would in any normal session. So there's a bit of a problem. We've rendered both tracks into Logic Pro X. What if you want to render them one by one? Well, the obvious way is to solo each sound and bounce it out, right? So let's do that again. I'm going to delete this guy. Here's our region. I'm going to solo each track and just bounce it. And then I'm going to solo the drums and bounce it. So here we have both of them separated. But depending on how in-depth you want to get with Ableton, you'll want to bounce things a little bit differently. So the way to do that, I'm just going to delete these guys, is to open up your mixer and create multiple auxiliary channels. So Control N multiple times. And in the input one and two, 
go to Ableton Live, and that's why you have several options. So you have bus three and four. And let's press bus five and six. So now I'm going to go over to Ableton Live and route them. In order to route them, you just select the track, and under the master section, you press rewire out, and just make sure that it matches the auxiliary channel. So rewire out, there's another option. It says mix left and right. We're going to say bus three and four for this one. Let's do the same thing again. Rewire out, bus five and six. Now when we go back to Logic, you'll see that they're in different auxiliary channels. So let's highlight these two, press Control T to bring them into the arrangement view. And just duplicate the regions and we can bounce things accordingly. So, why would you even want to use Ableton Live? Well, you don't have to, but there's some advantages. For example, let me just fix this routing again, bring this back to mix left and right. You have a really good warping tool now. You have a really good browser. And you're able to analyze audio files based on harmony, melody, or transient. So I'm going to right click this, this piano loop, and I'm going to go and say convert harmony to, to new MIDI track. And as you can see, it's not always perfect. But here's the file. So it's, you know, it's not, it's not that good, but it's a start. So you can get this MIDI and you can even export it by pressing shift command E, save it to your desktop and then drag it into your Logic Pro X session. These are one of the many reasons why you might want to use both DAWs. Now, a few things to note, you cannot use third party plugins in Ableton Live if you are rewired in Logic Pro X. You can only use third-party plugins within Logic Pro X. So if I were to try to pull up Serum, I can do it in Logic Pro X. And if I were to try to do this with Ableton, here's the Serum VST, it's not able to do it. You can use everything native though in Ableton Live with Logic Pro X in this rewire mode. So the last thing I wanted to talk about, I mentioned earlier that it was possible to render Ableton Live files into Logic Pro X. So I'm going to demonstrate that again and bounce this. And here it is. Just mute this auxiliary track. However, you cannot do this the other way around. There is a workaround for audio files. Let's say you found you wanted to bring this loop into Ableton Live. You made a loop in Logic Pro X and you want to warp it and use some of the features within Ableton Live. Well, you could. there is a workaround. You can left click the audio region and press Shift Command R. That will find the audio file within this Logic Pro X project or within your desktop and just press Command C to copy it. And now if we were to delete everything in Ableton, make a new audio track and press Command V, there is your loop. So I'm going to mute this guy and play. Rewire out. So the last thing to point out is that when you're done with this session, Right When you're done with this Ableton Live rewire to Logic Pro X, what you need to know is that just like you need to open up Logic Pro X and then Ableton to activate the rewire session, when you're closing the session, you need to, you need to quit Ableton Live first before you quit Logic Pro X or there will be errors. 
So I'm just going to quit this guy. And then you can safely quit Logic Pro X and you would have rendered all your, all your Ableton audio files and MIDI files into Logic Pro X. So I hope this video helped those of you who want to use two DAWs together. I found this out from Disclosure's live stream and I hope it inspires you. Stay safe and take care.